Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening. This is Keep Punching University. My name is Jim Gonsal, and I'm very happy to be hosting this from Lauraville, Louisiana. We get together on Monday nights at 5.50 p.m. Central Time with the purpose of informing all of you some really unique information that can help you make better health decisions and maybe even a good business decision. Very happy to have Dr. Candace Corson on with us tonight. I want to share a little bit about Dr. Corson's background. It's quite, quite impressive. She received both her college degree and her medical degree from Yale University. She was very privileged to, to have entered with the first women at Yale in 1969, quite an honor. She did a residency in family medicine at the University of Rochester. She, in fact, was the chief resident in 1978. She's been married for nearly 50 years to her husband, Dr. George Knowles. He's an emergency physician. They have four sons and four grandchildren. They served actually together as non-commissioned officers in the U.S. Public Health Service in North Carolina. A lot of great experience they both gained there. She later entered functional medicine and nutritional therapy to help patients recover better from chronic illness like asthma and autoimmune disorders. She's actually the medical editor of the book, Medicinal Plants of North America. That gives you a hint about her knowledge. She's been a health educator on nutrition, health recovery, and environmental illness. She's also been with the Juice Plus Company well over 22 years, and she's a Presidential Marketing Director Plus. The, folks, that's the highest position you can achieve with our company. Dr. Corson, we're very honored to have you on with us. Thank you, Jim. It's always a pleasure to be with you and Carrie and Mickey and this whole beautiful team and all the teams across our country and the world who are bringing hope to people. You're right, Dr. Corson. We are a very close community all around the world. You see people on this Zoom tonight. We appreciate you being our partner and contributing to our groups every time we have you on. Let me start with this first question. You've got quite an extensive background as a physician in many years in medicine. How did you learn about Juice Plus and what attracted you to it? Well, at first I was not attracted, uh, but it's a kindness of a friend that I went to middle school with many years ago who took the time to call me on the phone 30 years ago, the day Juice Plus was introduced and let me know about it. It did go over my head. It wasn't something that I had a need for that I perceived. And it's always about that timing in a person's life, what they perceive are their needs, right? And this person was just so gracious to let me know. Um, at that time, there was no research yet. Now it's the most researched of all nutrition products. 45 university studies peer reviewed, published in major journals across the United States and the world. But at that time, there, there wasn't any research yet just an amazing new concept in concentrated produce, concentrated dried powdered produce, which we now call functional food. But at that time, 30 years ago, I had four little boys. They were so little that they had to eat what we ate and it was relatively good. They did not have any wheels. They could not go anywhere and get in much trouble nutritionally. And on top of all that, and I always mention this because I'm just so passionate about people having a right to know about Juice Plus and use it whenever it makes sense to them, as soon as it makes sense to them, and then for the rest of their lives when it makes sense to them. But I cannot swallow capsules, and that is not a psychological problem. It is pretty common. I say, in my experience, it's about 10 or 15 percent of healthy grown-ups and teens. They cannot swallow, but they won't tell you. That's why if you don't know about this problem, it's because they're not telling you. They either won't order or they'll send it back. But um, it's a just a standard size capsule. We call it zero, zero or double aught as a standard size capsule. It's not a horse pill, standard size. But 10 to 15% of healthy people cannot. It's an airway challenge. And they know that um, they're putting their lives at risk if they do that. These are people that are careful with chewing. They don't swallow a blueberry whole. They don't try to eat a peanut whole. They make sure they chew it well. And so because of all this, you know, it just wasn't making sense to me, but time passed and uh, my friend, still a wonderful friend and 
still on Juice Plus because I called him years later and says, are you and your wife on Juice Plus? Um, but he had left the business. Well, eight years passed since he introduced me. And at that time, my children's school introduced vending machines into their lives all day, five days a week. And that really changed my perspective. I became humbled. I noticed because I was also a part-time family physician at that time and doing consulting and uh, holistic or functional medicine. But I was very active as a mom of teens and wanting to take my kids to each soccer game and take their friends. I noticed that they all were just eating like zero plants now. It hadn't been enough before the vending machines, but now it went down to basically zero. No apples, no carrots, no salads, because they didn't taste good anymore because their germs had changed in their gut, the microbiome. Now, this was 22 years ago. We didn't know as much as we do now. There's a tremendous amount of knowledge now and growing every day on the ecology inside of us, the thousands of good species of germs that are not optional, they're mandatory for our longevity and for us to fight with the good immune system and also contain our inflammation, keep it all balanced. And when we injure those germs, there are many ways that happens every day in America, uh, specific toxins, heavy metals, but especially antibiotics and the lack of the foods that these good germs need, which are plant foods. These are exclusively plant eating uh, microorganisms, the good guys. They're vegan. Now, it doesn't mean that we all have to be strict vegans, but it does mean we need a huge rainbow of plant foods. And we did not know that in the detail that we do today. But I did watch as my kids stopped eating plant foods completely. And it's because their germs were changing. Those germs in the gut, they eat every day, every hour. They need to be fed every day, not once a week. And they change, the population changes depending on what you're feeding yourself, which is the only thing they get to eat. So it quickly changed that no plant foods were coming in. Then my 15 year old developed bronchitis, which is pretty common, had a round of antibiotics. And then he had asthma for the first time in his life never had a trace of asthma before. That really got my attention because as, as you had um, shared with us, Jim, um, asthma as a clinical problem of patients was what really propelled me to start studying functional medicine. So here's my son developing asthma. And then my 13 year old, my youngest came to me one day and that really did it. He says, mom, could you please write me a prescription for antibiotics that I could take every day for my acne that he now had developed? That was it. I was very calm. I said, honey, you know, I'm going to find you something better. But inside, I was saying to myself, over my dead body, am I writing a prescription or letting anyone write a prescription for this child for antibiotics for acne? That's a really bad idea. So because that's how we kill off good germs without trying to, but it's going to happen. And then we're upregulating inflammation and we're be coming down with inflammatory problems, including a setup for autoimmune illness. It's now known that multiple rounds of antibiotics, especially in childhood, but it really at any age, predispose people to developing then autoimmune illness, which is kind of a mega onslaught of inflammation. But we don't want to lose those little good guys, and they need to be fed. So long story short, I started paying attention then, and I met a new friend who was a longtime cancer survivor and became a very dear friend of mine, and that is Susan Wittenbach, and she simply asked me questions and listened to what I had to say, and she asked me, and I love asking instead of telling people, right? It's always better to ask and listen. She said, and she knew that I was concerned. I had this problem um, that I was worried about with my kids. Um, she asked me if... Um, you could see, would you be open to the clinical research that medical doctors are finding at universities about Juice Plus? Would you be open? And I said, yeah, I'd be very open. Both my parents were biomedical researchers, and I didn't know there was any nutrition company that had real independent uh, faculty research from scientists that are you know, experts in their field, and it's their field that they're studying, uh, whether it's immune system or DNA replication or inflammatory cascade, etc. And so she sent me, since I was open, the three studies that existed at that time, 22 years ago, and they were very interesting. And I got it, you know, that that was, that was real and really important. And then she asked me, you know, 
would it make sense to you to start this with one of your children for free in our Healthy Starts program? Because the children are able to be added to their parents' order or grandparent or other adult in their circle of uh, family and extended family. Um, would it make sense to start one of your kids on this program, Healthy Starts, with you? And I said, yes, it would. Now, all of this took seven different phone calls because she cared over about maybe 11 or 12 weeks, each time with permission, because I was very busy. I was very stressed. My husband was full-time emergency physician on a swing shift, actually for 30 years, swing shift. And it was just a little bit crazy at our household sometimes. So on that seventh call is when she said, um, just asked again, would it make sense to start um, one of your kids if you'd like? I said, okay, let's do that. Now I'm thinking, how am I going to use these capsules? Well, obviously it came to me from other people's ideas. You can open the capsules. The trio of essentials, the berry blend, the fruit blend, and the vegetable blend are extremely easy to open. They're not sealed. And that dried powdered produce can go to a smoothie or soup or applesauce. I've been putting mine in water every day, shake it up and drink it for 22 years now. I'm very grateful. I would have never done it if it wasn't for my kids. And I'm so grateful because even though I was eating great, uh, I thought pretty great, um, you know, it made a huge difference for me being faithful every single day. So my child would do it because he told me he wasn't going to do it and he didn't do it. That's a whole other story. And I figured out a way to help him do it. Um, doing it every day faithfully is what those good germs need in our body. And it made a huge difference. I noticed the difference at about six months because I was in pretty good shape and I was eating pretty well. But at six months, I sat up one evening and I was realizing it was about 10 at night, 10 p.m. And I was thinking, I feel so good. My mind is so clear. I have such well-being and internal energy. If someone called a meeting right now about something I wanted to go to, I could go attend a meeting right now, 10 p.m., no problem. And I thought, could it be the Juice Plus? Well, it turns out, yes, it was. And I was filling out one of the uh, parent questionnaires that goes with the health study um, with the Healthy Starts. And I noticed when I was filling it out, you know, my memory problems that I had been slowly developing and have a strong, sad family history of Alzheimer's in my family, um, you know, I don't have those problems anymore. Losing the names of, you know, pretty good um, acquaintances that you know you should know their names. Um, kitchen implements, you know, the spatula, give me the thingy bob, please. That's not good, guys. And uh, that just went back to normal baseline. I noticed it at six months after being on the trio. So I was on the fruit and veg first, because that's all we had. And it's wonderful. Tons of research on that fruit and vegetable combination, the basic capsule duo. And then as soon as the berries became available, I, I added them. And within um, two months of adding the berries, so I was doing then the trio, uh, memory problems were resolved. Now that was my experience, but believe me, I noticed it. Um, I've had a first cousin die of Alzheimer's. My father had Alzheimer's. So the list goes on many, many family members. So long story short, my husband and I both fell in love with this product. A, a month after I started, I asked my husband, would you please um, consider doing this? So our youngest, the one that wanted a prescription for antibiotics could have this. He said, you know what? I'll do it for our son. He had a similar experience, very different person, but at around six or seven months, he noticed uh, this is something that I'm not going to be without. And he had always eaten very well. It takes us further than we can do on our own. And in today's world, it's what we need. You know, when you're consuming um, a concentrate of 30, that's three zero different plants on top of the best you can do, which is what we're always aiming for then amazing things happen. And we not only see it happen, but the research shows that it happens. So I'll stop there, Jim. If, and yes, let you yes. and you, you've done a wonderful job. We can tell by your enthusiasm that Juice Plus has made a phenomenal difference. And you, you covered a couple of points about the research. I know when you first started, we didn't have as many as we have now. Can you pick out a couple that really stand out for you now? And how important is that research? Yes, it's it's really important. You know, there's nothing else um, in the field of whole food nutrition that has been independently 
scientifically researched in the way that Juice Plus has and continues to be. Um, I really like all the studies. They really have significance, but I will, since you asked for two right off the top of my head, is the study that was done in children, young children age six to 10 years old. And this was at um, the um, Nemours Children's Research um, Hospital in Jacksonville, Florida. And it was at their request and they paid for the study as well. And they wanted to do a study looking at insulin resistance which is where the insulin receptor in the cell wall is becoming resistant and not working right with insulin. And this is the pathway to type two diabetes, which is the most common by far form of diabetes. And it's um, just as bad as, as type one because it's often, I would say underestimated by patients how much of a problem it is. And the beauty of it though, type two, is that it is largely reversible and preventable. And the pathway is more plants. To be very simple, more plants is what the body needs, more plants. I mean, there's some other details, but the basic thing, the more plants, the less diabetes, the less Alzheimer's, the less heart attacks, the less cancer. So um, that study is very meaningful. It's published in the Journal of Pediatrics. And it showed over a six month period, and these were capsules, they were not the chewables. We do have children's chewables. Most people find them quite yummy, grownups and kids. They were designed really for kids who can't swallow capsules safely, but they're not exactly the same. And my preference is always capsules or open the capsules. And that's what they did in this study. They either opened the capsules or if the kids wanted to swallow it, they felt they could do it safely. But opening the capsules, as I had mentioned, is very easy. Now, this was fruit and vegetable. It's exactly what the children receive in our Healthy Starts program, except it's the capsule version, version, not the chewables. And within six months, and it was double blind, placebo controlled, there was a group that got what looked just like it, but was not Juice Plus. The control group, which did not receive Juice Plus, they continued to gain more belly fat and have insulin resistance. And that really um, caught my attention because I would not have imagined that you could see a continuing worsening pattern in only six months. If that makes sense, these were little kids, but they were worse at the end of six months, left unattended with a placebo. And the kids that had real juice plus, um, those kids, and they, you know, double blind means you, the parents and the researchers don't know um, which is which. Um, but the real Juice Plus kids, they did have a significant decrease in their insulin resistance. This is huge. When you have something that's food, that's safe, it's safe for pregnancy all the way through old age, proven to make a difference for people and very economical as part of the food budget, why not use that? And so that's in the Journal of Pediatrics. And then the other one you had asked for too, um, I had to try so hard to pare it down. There's a very powerful study and Dr. Um, uh, Manfred Lamprecht really speaks well to this. He is our director of research and uh, from Vienna, Austria. And he has talked about this. There's a short video on this, but you can also see all the papers. Just ask the person who is sharing this talk with you and they can get you links to the research. But this one um, was out of Australia, Newcastle, Australia. And what they showed was that over 1,600 different genes in the human genome are affected positively by this nutrition, this concentrated functional food. That's 1,600 genes where genes are being, good genes are being turned on and problematic genes are being switched off. That's the field of epigenetics. It's what happens to the genes, the gene switches. And the largest factor, there are two big factors that affect gene switching, switching good ones on, switching bad ones off. Those are toxicity and number one, nutrition, because nutrition helps us detoxify and it turns on plant pathways, uh, turns on our own pathways like cancer control pathways that we have, that we're born with. Uh, it helps those uh, good pathways get turned on because of plants. So those are those are two of the many great studies. Very well said, Dr. Gorson. And you know, again, there's so many of them, but I'm glad you picked out a couple that really stand out for you. Help us to get clear on that. You've mentioned functional medicine a couple of times. How does what is functional medicine, and how does Juice Plus really fit in with that category of healthcare? 
Yes. So functional medicine, as I think of it, is uh, the field of medicine, allopathic medicine, which is doing things from the outside of the body that many naturopathic physicians have understood for a long time. But I think of it as when um, allopathic physicians such as myself um, start to learn at that deeper level of cellular physiology uh, how the body is working and to work with that. So that would not be a foreign concept to naturopaths and even homeopaths and many holistic practitioners. But I love to see it enter the MD and DO field, the osteopaths and the um, allopaths like myself, to be working at that level of understanding more and aiming to help the body um, do what it knows how to do. And that's going to be plant foods. It's going to be de-stressing. It's going to be movement. It's going to be laughter. It's going to be you know, a sense of community, um, all of those things together. But my particular interest is in the field of nutrition. They all touch each other and they all influence each other. In fact, many people have noticed that their horrible stress level gets better when they have more plant foods. And now that's a whole other subject I'm going to just touch on briefly. There's a field now called, um, you know, we've heard of probiotics, which is a name for the good germs. We've heard of prebiotics, that's P-R-E, meaning the food foundation that the germs must have, which is what we feed ourselves, which needs to be plant foods. So prebiotic fibers from plants, they're not found in animal products. And then um, there's a field called <laughs> psychobiotics. Now I love that because I have a background in psychiatry. Uh, my parents were in the department of psychiatry, not as MDs, but PhD researchers, but I was in the public health service um, asked and, and really prevailed upon to um, be acting psychiatrist for several years in these uh, rural counties where we lived. And I did that um, and it was a rewarding experience, but all of us know that our mindset and our emotional um, and even intellectual uh, stability is dependent upon our nutrition. And so today we know more about that than ever, but bottom line, the good germs in our gut, when they're present in the right numbers, which is the trillions and the right kinds, they make most of the neurotransmitter molecules that we need in our brain. They're transferred, transferred to the brain. They're not made in the brain. They're made in the gut. So when we mess up that uh, inadvertently by a lot of antibiotics, you I know, mean, I had a patient say to me <clears throat> years ago, and I didn't understand it then, but I saved it in the back of my mind. You know, she, it was a wife saying, you know, my husband has never been so depressed at, since after this last round of antibiotics, he's so depressed. I didn't have a way to understand that 25 years ago, but I didn't forget it either. Today, I would love to help them. Um, but he had lost too many of the good germs. And that's what happens. It happened to me after my fourth round of doxycycline for my fourth round of acute Lyme disease from tick bites, four different tick bites over about a three year period um, where we lived in Northern Indi Indiana with too many deer. And I love the deer, but they're infested with um, deer ticks and they happen to carry Lyme disease. So after that fourth round of doxycycline, I could feel that myself, <laughs> this is not good and worked on more prebiotic foods uh, or probiotic foods and prebiotic foods and more juice plus. It's okay to go higher on juice plus, it's non-toxic. So many of us use four of each a day or even six of each a day of the trio. And many of us use four of each a day of the Omega blend. So um, I'll stop talking there, Jim. Any other questions that you had? Yeah, this is great because that term functional medicine, I think it's been unclear for a lot of people. You did a wonderful job of clarifying that and how important plants are to our body's function. Dr. Corson, since Juice Plus is the world leader in plant powders for over 30 years now, and we're the best in the world in plant oils, I'm going to ask you this question. How do you feel about any of the product that may be attempting to compare to Juice Plus? Well, I feel it's a compliment, Jim. You know, when you have something great, uh, people try to copy it or they do copy it, a copycat. Um, it's a compliment that we found something. It's a huge breakthrough in human nutrition. Juice Plus is a huge breakthrough in human nutrition. Um, 
I think when people are deciding what they're going to purchase with their hard earned dollars, that, you know, people want the best for themselves and their family, for their elders, for their children, their babies, their pregnant moms. And if you're going to look for substantiation of that, it is going to be Juice Plus. I mean, I'm not telling people what to pick, but I do say, look at the evidence. And it's also what goes into making these products from the field up the relationships with small farmers over 30 years of growing the highest quality, intense, nutritious uh, pro uh, produce. And these are single crop experts, most of them. So you have your apple farmers, your orange the orange farmers. Those are in different parts of the country, of course. Kale farmers, uh, cranberry farmers. And they are dedicated to growing the highest quality produce for Juice Plus. So these are not the pretty looking apples. These are the most nutritious apples not the pretty looking broccoli it's the most nutritious broccoli and i think um you know looking at that type of quality you can't reproduce 30 years of relationships just um in a short period of time so it's something very special and the amount of checking on um the quality and the purity is the most i've seen in any product anywhere from the field to the capsule so it's a, it's really a privilege to have access to this pure, pure, pure produce. My husband and I have been growing our own little organic garden for many, many, you know, decades, and we are strong proponents of that. I still say that Juice Plus is the most provenly pure thing that comes into our house. Yeah, and you mentioned about purity. Talk for a minute, if you will. How important is the NSF certification? Yes, that's really a great certification. If you look on a lot of products in health food stores, most of them will not be able to carry that label. It's the National Sanitation Foundation, and it is an independent watchdog group. They do pull products off the shelf and test them. And what it means if there's a label on there is that it uh, meets their standards, which is everything that's on the label is in there and nothing that's not on the label is in there and it's safe for human consumption. So it's a very special, uh, very special label indeed. And we have that on all of our products. It's really a good stamp of approval, if you will. And it's good that you say that not only as a healthcare professional, but also as a mom and a wife. I know. Dr. Corson, you've built a tremendous business all around the world with the Juice Plus company. You've got a strong team. What would you share with anyone who would like to build a solid business with Juice Plus? I would say it all comes from the heart. You know, this is a business, it, really, someone asked Jay Martin, the founder of this beautiful company with the heart, um, what kind of business is it? And he came up with, you know, together with friends, you know, it's a mission driven business. So if, if you have a mission uh, to help this world be a better place and to help people lead better quality lives and, you know, feel that love and enjoyment of their life. And, and you really need some good health to do that and to make a difference. If you're in that group of people, it's a wonderful business. If you understand the power of this product, if you understand the integrity and the longevity of this company, now 53 years old, um, it's a great thing. I would say people do need to become teachable, coachable, or be teachable, coachable. And I was, I, I will say, <laughs> my sponsor, Susan, and her sponsor, Cynthia Gompers, called me one day years ago, and, and they said something that was so sweet. They said, you know, you're one of the most coachable people we have ever worked with. And I took that as a high compliment, and, you know, it, it, and they meant it that way. And that's really, you've got to get humble and learn how to do something quite different from probably everything you've ever done before. Uh, my husband said to me one day years ago, you know, this business is perfect for you. You know, you love people, you love making a difference, you, you love teaching. And, um, and I said, yes, I agree with you. And it's a different skill set from being a physician. It's a really different skill set. So I'd say be teachable, coachable um, is the way to go. Very, very good evidence of what can happen when you make a decision as you have, Dr. Corson, to help so many people around the world. As we conclude, what would be your final thoughts for everyone? I think, you know, that each person really wants the best in their life and they want the best. I mentioned this before, the best for their family and their community and their world. And I think that reconnecting people with the um, 
power of the natural world, the power of mother nature, the power of the natural order, uh, however people want to define that in terms of the underpinnings of that. I think it's very sacred and very special. I think there's a lot of um, logic beyond our understanding, but if we want to have a good life and leave a good life for the next generation, we really have to be on that path and be good stewards of the earth. And I think that's exactly what this company represents. And you know, if we're going to have good health, we have to attend to the health of this planet, Mother Earth. It's very important and it's really a peril at this point. So I really feel let's do something you know, that makes sense, that's proven, that is kind and compassionate, non-judgmental, and helping. Let's help each other to have a better quality of life. And I'll just say, you know, Jim, that you know, we always talk about, you know, we want to serve people where they have a pain and help them heal their pain. And and my pain in a nutshell was that I was seeing, you know, 25 years ago after years of practice, more and more and more serious chronic illness at ever younger ages, like an avalanche, like a tsunami, you know, little kids with autoimmune disease, celiac and lupus. And these are things we never saw in medical school ever. And so what I really wanted in my heart, and I was becoming more clear was to be able to teach what I had been learning to people who wanted to learn it. And in a clinical setting, that was never going to happen. And so I did reach my limit one day when I had a mom come in who loved her child, little three-year-old boy, he had an ear infection, he was in pain. And I was trying to share with her how I would treat this ear infection for my own sons. And I had four little boys and this is what I would do. And it was not going to be antibiotics. That's, you know, uncomplicated ear infection. It's not the right treatment. And they stopped doing that in the UK years ago. Um, and she just started to cry. She was so frustrated. She said, Dr. Corson, why can't you just write me this prescription for antibiotic like my other doctor does? And I said, you know, I did not set out here to cause you more stress today. I'm so sorry. Um, but I didn't have juice plus to offer her because I was still in the I'm too cool phase and I wasn't paying attention, right? 25 years ago. So um, I just took a deep breath. I said a silent prayer. May this prescription do more good than harm. I knew it was going to do harm. This was his like 17th antibiotic in three years. And, um, and I wrote the prescription and I realized I am so unhappy doing this kind of practice. I am dreaming of a way that if this mom is interested, she could come to a class that she would want to learn with other moms and dads. And that's what fell into my lap with Juice Plus. We all get to share. We don't have to have an MD after our name to share good nutrition that's proven. And it's just a pleasure to do this all together. It takes all of us. And we are encouraging people to join us. We need more happy, solid feet on the ground. Dr. Corson, this has been wonderful. You've educated us in 30 minutes on some real specifics about our health, about nutrition. And your experience is so evident. And we so appreciate you being part of our community. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you, Jim. It's a pleasure to be with you all. Have a great rest of your month.